Um, uh, obviously, I've been away in uh, BBD, Barbados, but uh, Ellis has been up to a lot as well. Um, while I was away, when I returned, actually, I found out that Ellis had been bestowed the honour of going head-to-head -head with BBC Sports' Mark Lawrenson oh. to predict the Premier League scores last yes. week. Now, this is one of those... One of those small things that really represents a, a, a rise in status. Uh, he is introduced as a comedian and actor, Ellis James, and I was so excited about this. There's a league table of how everyone's done. Um, Ellis, uh, d how did you feel being asked to go up against Mark Lawrence and the predictor? Thrilled because he's notoriously bad at it. So I thought this is this is going to be uh, this is going to be easy. I'm not going to come top of the predictors, but I'm certainly going to beat Lauro because well, you, you get 40 points. For for a correct score yeah. and 10 points for... Correct result. A correct result. We won't need to bother about the 40 points uh, awarded because that you didn't get a single correct score, no. did you? But surely you must have got quite a few <laughs> results, right? Well, bearing in mind that I spent hours looking at the form book, reading past results, <laughs> checking if there were any injuries or suspensions to major sort of significant players. Yeah, you'd think that I'd have got loads right. How many you? out of the 10 results did you get right, Alice? I think... Bearing in mind it was a full Premier League programme, uh, every team played. Uh, I, think I, got, I think I got one result. You got right. one result, <laughs> right. You uh, correctly predicted, I think, a win for Stoke. Stoke. Was, yeah. yeah, all the others you got wrong. Uh, yeah, it's quite hard, I would imagine, to get them all wrong. <laughs> I mean, bang wrong. Yeah, well. bang wrong. Uh, so you're bottom of the table. Yes. Uh, along alongside Paul Heaton and Kelly Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and Do you know what? I... Oh, God, I looked at the table before I submitted my results and I saw that Kelly Jones was bottom. I thought, that idiot doesn't know anything about football. <laughs> and when I, they, they tweet your predictions and I got called a very, very rude word by a West Ham fan because I thought they were going to draw with Bournemouth. <laughs> and he said some really awful things about me. I thought, mate, that isn't the result. I'm not in charge of the results. No. <laughs> That's just my prediction. So anyway, folks, when I'd seen uh, that Ellis had done astoundingly badly yeah. I thought I'd better give him a call to uh, make hay with this and I discovered please for the first time please don't in our friendship please I can't believe do considering how bad Ellis is at answering the phone anyway oh. I never previously heard his voicemail please don't do this and I have to say it was it was not what I expected to <laughs> We've managed to get a no, clip before Ellis don't do this, John. phoned please, EE to get them to delete it. Please let me explain, and John. Please. Dave, can we just hear a clip? No, no, Dave! No! Turn it off, Dave! <laughs> yeah, yeah, pull out a week and leave a goddamn message. I think it's worth hearing that again, because I didn't understand it the first time. Ellis, you have to remain silent for this, please. Yeah, yeah, pull out a week and leave a goddamn message. <laughs> so, that's... Right, let that, me explain, John. Basically, can I just... Is that a, is that a Puerto Rican voice I and then Welsh? Yes, I think, yes. <laughs> basically, John John called me and I answered and he went, what, what is going on? And I said, have you seen predictions? And he went, no, you have an amusing voicemail greeting. And I said, no, I don't. He went, yes, you do. And I said, no, I've never had an amusing voicemail greeting. I did not believe John and I called myself up. And I thought I was going to be sick <laughs> because I don't remember recording that. I don't remember recording it. I don't know how long it's been there for. I then scroll through my missed calls. Ah! It is it is the worst thing I have ever been <coughs> responsible for. And it is so embarrassing. I had to go to bed. I had to go to bed for about half an hour because I looked through all my missed calls. And I thought, I'm never going to get over this. And Imagine, like... I don't know, someone calling you to ask if you'd like to do a radio oh play. God. And getting that message and thinking, I, know. God, I guess it shows his range. I don't know how it's happened. And you know what? Yeah, yeah, hey, what are we going to leave a message? What's the... <laughs> what are you saying in Welsh? In Welsh, I'm just saying, please leave a message, thank you very much. <laughs> and what are you saying in Puerto Rican accent? I don't know, but I don't, ever rem I don't ever remember finding a Puerto Rican accent particularly... I don't know, I could do one. I mean, I, you I can't. don't know if I can do one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just, it, I, it makes me cringe so much. I saw my missed calls and all these people are calling. And then I put it on Facebook. I said, I didn't realise I had an amusing voicemail greeting. And my agent said, yeah, it's been driving me mad for for weeks, mate. And I think I'm, I don't know how it's happened. I, I, but I don't remember recording that. Uh, I haven't had the time to record that. Have you managed to delete it? Yeah, after a third attempt. Because, <laughs> because... 
Luckily, we've got it forever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, what are we come on, me. But I just think it's oh, just... grief to all right. Two, two, damn two, two, two yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Two things, right? <laughs> yeah. My friend Dan said when I heard it, I didn't think he was particularly out of character, so I just never mentioned it, which makes me want to cry. And my friend Sean said, "Was it a day? Were you at a sleepover? Was it sleepover?" Anyway, folks, uh, coming up. Uh, we've got music from the vaccine, vaccines and bears den. So stay tuned to Ellis and John on X. Radio Ellis X. James oh. Radio X. Ellis James and John Robbins. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing? Uh.